In this question, a quiz you about linear regression. Given the following data, my first question is, can this data be fit exactly using a linear function that maps from x to y? Yes or no? And the answer is no. To see, let's look at the slope of the linear function if it existed. From 0 to 1, we increment y by 3, we go from 3 to 6, therefore the slope of it must be 3. However, from 1 to 2, we only increase the function by 1 from 6 to 7. Therefore, it can't be fit linearly. We can see the same if we plot the data points. And over here, we could fit a linear function, but it's very shallow, whereas those points over here have a much more steeper situation. So any linear function would probably miss these points in between. I would now like to ask you to perform linear regression on these data points and calculate for me v w0 and w1 as defined in this class. You might have to go back and look at the exact formula from the lecture that I taught on linear regression. For answering these questions, let me restate the essential formulas. w1 is obtained by m times sum of x, y minus sum of x times sum of y over m times sum xi square minus sum of xi in brackets square. And if you plug in these numbers over here for m equals 5, because there's 5 training examples, we get 5 times 88 minus 10 times 35 over 5 times 30 minus 100, which is 1.8. That is the correct answer for W1. W0 was obtained by 1 over m times sum over y's minus W1 over m times sum over x. And plugging in the table over here gives us 1 fifth times 35 minus 1.8 over 5 times 10, and that is 3.4, which would have been the correct answer over here. And again, here are the data points with the solution. So if you take the axis where x equals 0, the y value is actually 3.4, and the slope is 1.8. It's a little smaller than if you just connected the endpoints, which gave us a slope of 2, because there's a residual error over here, residual error over here, residual error over here, residual error over here. The resulting linear function ends up splitting in a quadratically optimal way the errors between these different data points.